Hey guys, I'm Sergio the Latin Snake Mora, former WBC Junior Middleweight Champion. The Latin Snake, Sergio Mora. This is In My Garage, presented by AutoZone. I love boxing. I mean, it's the only thing I've actually been passionate about. You know, something that you're really good at, you know, better than most. It's, it's something that you, uh, you learn to, to cherish that passion and know that it was a gift more than a passion and, and you just harness that and try to make the most and it was just a beautiful thing knowing that I can beat a lot of people up and get paid for it. Well I started boxing when I was 15 years old. I uh, started in barbecue boxing actually. You can YouTube it and it's a bunch of Mexican little rascals in East LA you know throwing on the gloves and uh, beating the hell out of each other. Winning the contender that was like my Olympics you know all eyes were on me that moment at Caesars Palace nothing beats that. You know, a million dollars, of course. You know, I had insufficient funds before that show, but winning the contender and winning this truck on the contender, we're at Caesar's Palace and Sugar Ray Leonard get, gave eight of us uh, some playing cards and said, pick a card. So I went over there, I was the first one to pick the card and said, don't turn it over. All of us got cards and said, Sergio, turn your card over. Whoever has the ace wins this truck. I picked out the ace and I won the Toyota Tundra. 2005 and believe me man when I won it I started jumping for joy like I won a million dollars in the middle, middle of Caesars Palace this was a beautiful thing one of the first great prizes in my life I made a few modifications but it wasn't on me it was a uh, dub magazine shout out to Herman Flores who hooked it up first first time I uh, got this truck he said hey let me pimp it out for you so he got me 24 inch wheels these aren't it but they were they were big rims they were so big that when I turned the wheel they will turn that, but you know, that was a, the thing back in the day, the wheels, the big rims. If you come in here, he actually uh, embroidered the seats with the Latin snake representing East LA. This was really, really clean when it was first out 20 years ago. You know, you can, mind you, it's a 20 year old truck, but we take care of it and give it tune-ups and, and uh, yeah, it's a clean truck. This is a great story. I got this truck, right? And I love the truck, but I'm not a truck guy, so I let my little brother have it. And then um, I wanted a, a sedan of my own, so I remember going to the Infinity dealership because I remember the, the G35s were real popular. You know, it, I was, it was a 2005, so I walked into the showroom floor expecting to buy a G35 Infinity. And then what do I see on the showroom floor? I saw a M45. I don't know what it was. Beautiful diamond graphite you know 19 inch alloy wheels uh, uh, cognac leather seats beautiful car and I autumn I remember saying what car is that that's what I want oh that's the M45 go sold I'll take it and then he's like you don't want to test drive I'm like no well we got them out in the showroom I go uh, out in the parking lot I go no I want that one so I literally bought the the showroom floor car it had about 120 miles on it and i remember i bought it cash and they had to open up the the two doors for me to reverse well for them to reverse it out of the showroom floor because that's the car i wanted you still train a lot yeah man i love punching things and you know i don't want to get arrested getting in fights so yeah i uh, i go hit the heavy bag i shadow box i lift weights so yeah, I, I still like, I still have the itch to, to hit something. I, I wouldn't fight again on this unless it was a calculated risk, meaning, you know, the right opponent. I've always wanted to have that even 30 wins, you know, I have 29 wins. 30 would sound just perfect, so nice round number, but maybe one of these, uh, you know, social media stars might want to fight a former champion. So, you know, can't knock the hustle, man. They're doing what they're doing and guys like Jake Paul, and Logan Paul and so many others. They're making a lot of money out of their mass following, and I can't hate against that. But if they ever, ever really, really want to get in there with a professional boxer, I'm here for you. Everyone says, when I have money, I'll buy this, I'll buy that, I'll buy this. You know, I didn't, I didn't make tens and hundreds of millions of dollars, but I made enough money to change my life and my family's life. And now that I'm older, now that I'm a family man myself, I can tell you that even if I got 10 million, 15 million, and I can buy a dream car, I probably still wouldn't buy a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or anything like that. I would probably, I have a BMW right now. I also have a Jeep. 
I love simple stuff. I'm older now, I'm thinking different. You asked me that question 10, 15 years ago, you know, I'll be telling you I'll be big pimping in Ibiza somewhere with a yellow Lamborghini, but that's not me anymore. <laughs>